Finally today, before we get too far in the new debate on spending, just a word about last week's news, the so-called historic compromise that prevented a government shutdown and cut an astounding $38 billion from this year's budget. Whether or not you thought the cuts came in the right programs, that's a big deal. $38 billion is a lot of money. Or is it? Well, thanks to the Congressional Budget Office and some great reporting by the Washington Post, it turns out the government won't be cutting $38 billion in one year after all. No, the real cuts will be more like $352 million. You heard me right, $352 million, not $38 billion. The rest? mostly smoke, mirrors, and accounting gimmicks. Example, when projects like the Capitol Visitor Center came in under budget, it was supposed to cost $621 million and actually cost less than $600, auditors call the unspent leftover money a spending cut. The Washington Post found that in 98 cases where the government had allotted money to federal agencies that was never spent, in each case it was called a spending cut. On big ticket items like aircraft carriers, whose full cost won't come due for five or six years, the entire cost was deducted as a cut in this year's budget. We bemoan the fact that government can't break its spending habits, can't do what it needs to do, but what I find more disappointing is appalling, too strong a word, is that try as they might, neither side can seem to find a way to tell the truth.